Hello, my friends. Okay. I am going to go on a personal rant, a personal tangent. Bear with me. This is kind of a fig tree moment, I guess, if, in a way. Um, because fig tree moments are moments where we, little things help us to feel seen, to feel heard, to feel loved, to feel understood. Um, so holy heck. Okay. This is mostly about the song used to be young by Miley Cyrus. This song, I needed this song. It somehow simultaneously encapsulates feelings of grief moving on from the past um, and others' expectations while also showing that joy and hope for the future can coexist. There's a line in the song that says, quote, you tell me time has done changed me. That's fine. I've had a good run. I know I used to be crazy. That's because I used to be young. Ever since I've listened to this song, it has brought me back to a train of thought that I think of fairly often. It's crazy how much we change over time as human beings. In the last 12 years, I have become a wife, a manager at multiple jobs, a mother, a business owner, fashion consultant, an aunt, a podcaster, a runner, a teacher, an activities coordinator, and more. We as human beings, especially as women, wife, mothers, wear so many different hats. Not to mention all the changes that happen to us mentally and physically as well as we get older. But despite all that change, so much of me remains the same. There is a TikTok sound that says something to the effect of your 30s allow you to discover what you loved as a teenager, but this time without judgment or shame. And I couldn't agree with that more. Both versions of you exist in you now this past version that has made mistakes and grown and is passionate about things that make no sense to anyone else. She's still there. And this version of you that is responsible and wears all of these hats and fulfills all these roles and helps give so much to others. She's there. Both versions of you make you up. And have brought you this far. It reminds me of a poem. Here I go. I've, I've, <laughs> I've quoted Miley Cyrus and here I go. Quoting Taylor Swift now. Speaking of things that you loved as a teenager that just haven't gone away. Case in point, my friends. Uh, but it's a poem called Why She Disappeared. And I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I did want to point out just a small quote at the end, which says, quote, without your past, you could never have arrived so wondrously and brutally by design or by some violent, exquisite happenstance here. I think we have a unique opportunity, especially as women and moms, to continually rediscover ourselves. This is a lifelong occurrence. We can find our spark over and over again, whether it's new things or whether it's things that have been placed on the back burner that we haven't enjoyed since we were young. I think as moms too, we have an even deeper understanding of that because we are teaching our children. We're helping them learn and grow and not make our mistakes. And we are experiencing things right along with them. And it's absolutely beautiful.
know that you are exactly enough. You always have been. It doesn't it just make you want to go back and like hug your teenage self and tell them it'll all be okay? Because you're still growing up. Even now you're still growing up.